Are we on? Good evening, everyone. Is there anybody out there? Let us. Let us start with some saging and some prayers. Who is here with us? Hello, everyone. Love it, love it, love it. How are we? Say hello. Say hi. Hi, Ayantu. Good evening. How have we been? Who is here? We have Facebook. I'm just doing some lights here. I have a very big subject today. Big subject is own yourself. Hi, Nikki. Own yourself. Be the boss of your life. So who is the boss? Who is telling you what to do or not to do? Who are you following? Or who have you been catching up? Any of these questions sounds familiar? Tell me how are you? How are you going with this epic lion gate? How is it? Let's see. I'm not sure who's here, who's not. Is there anyone in Facebook? Not sure. It's all good. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Is everything awesome? So we're just starting this. Remember, always to sage. You do the sage, you do the Palo Santo, and you burn it in the seashell because this is combining the four elements. So the element of the water, the earth, the fire, and then it's the spirit. And once that we are connecting this, we are asking from the, hi Carrie, hi Alicia. We're asking really from the universe, from great spirit to come help and support us so we can really neutralize and clear the energy um, and take away anything that had happened in the day, in the week, in the house, and you're just clearing it away. Clearing it away. So, how was your week? Can you write to me? Or are we just quietly observing? I can do quietly observing, but it's up to you. So my week was super hectic. Why was it hectic? Energies are shifting in levels that we don't even fathom or realize. And the most important, the pace. The pace is super quick. And when we are connecting to this super quick pace, boom. How's it, Jade? Um, so while we are here at the Lion Gate and it's all coming to a peak, remember on Monday, the 8th of the 8th, and it's going to continue um, until it's what? Busy, crazy, up and down, 100%. This is what the energy is about. The energy is about you keeping, keeping anything that is um, right for you and releasing anything that doesn't suit you anymore. Okay? No, they are not red. They are purple. Why are you saying red, Jade? Jade is another purpleholic. So, it's rose gold and purple. Sparkles. Maybe the sparkle makes it look this way. <laughs> All right. So, tell me when you are, because this is like the collation, and can I tell you, most of the client this week, we were all on par on this one. So, do you know who you are? Can you write to me? Um, can you write to me? How are you feeling? How are you feeling within yourself? Are they people, things, and matters that you needed to let go and release? Are they subjects that you're just choosing to let go because you had enough of fighting? Um, I am in the middle of a debate with myself in relation to someone from my past that has been super, 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 super challenging. And I am just, well, it's not just cutting the cord. It's actually, 
you have to shift it in a very big way. But the best way to do it, I don't know if any of you have this dilemma, the best way of doing it is literally um, disconnecting it from yourself. Would you like me to show you how to do it a little bit later? Yes, just let me know. Thumbs up and as such. So are you aligned with your home, with your family, with your work? Are you aligned in the way that you really do things for yourself? If you are aligned, it's a one thing, then you're in the flow. But some of you are working, but they're so bored at work. Like I know someone who has studied to be like, to practice law, but all she wants is to sing music. And she has a beautiful voice. However, if she won't be able to eat, then she won't be able to sing. Or she can sing, but on a very hungry tummy, right? So. Sometimes what we do, we work in order to pay for our pleasures. And sometimes the work is our pleasure. So which one are you? Are you enjoying your work or what you used to do at least in a way that gave you fulfillment? Or did you use the income that you have made from that um, job to, to pursue your habits and your joy? Write to me. What is it for you? Write to me and let me know. Good evening, Robert. So how many of you can connect to the next sentence? I sold myself cheap just to be approved, accepted, and have friends. I'll repeat it again slower. I sold myself cheap just in order to be approved, accepted, and have friends. Who can connect with that? How many times have you compromised yourself? You compromised yourself just to be potentially accepted by people who really didn't care. Because if they did care, right? you wouldn't have to compromise yourself. So where is it that you find that need of approval from someone external that then stops you from being yourself? Can you relate to that? Write to me. I need your little interaction there because I need to know where you are at. I'm, I'm doing this for you. I'm not just lecturing. This is just a little notes, just the memory jokers. Um, what happens when you are aligned? When you are aligned, hello, M. When you are aligned, you will have wisdom, intuition, confidence. You'll be feeling the beautiful. You'll be proud of yourself and you'll be helping people. You'll be supporting and helping people to strengthen themselves. And that will probably give you energy to strengthen yourself. So it's about them. It's about you. However, what happens when you're in the not in alignment? You will feel stressed. You will feel upset. You will feel all the opposites of it. So again, I'll repeat the question. Do you work to make the money so you can do what you want? Or your job is your pleasure? And either way, do you own it? Do you own yourself? Can you stay the same? Whether you are at work, whether you are with your lover, whether you are with the family, whether you are with your friends. And once that you realize what it is and how it is, it will actually make your life a whole different ball game. Okay? Because when you are aligned, everything is flowing. So I wrote here another thing. And I had it again. I'm a well-established lawyer, doctor, accountant. Yet I can't seem to enjoy the financial rewards, although I've studied and I earned them really strong and hard. So I have a couple clients 
an accountant, a lawyer, and a doctor. Supposed to be high earners and high, you know, supposed to. But what happens when you don't enjoy what you do? What happens when you're not really living to it? Carrie, beautiful, good to hear. What are you doing? What work do you actually do? Can you write to me what work do you actually do? Even though I know some of you. What work do you actually do that keeps you or makes you do and stay in, in it? I know someone who has a very senior position, yet she actually choose or chose already to change a little bit of the job description in order to have more fun, in order to learn more. Jan Dobre. And it's about you still owning. We have a psychologist that just joined us. However, she manages a house of disabled people. Why? Because she cares. Oh, Shalom Arnold. Yep. So someone even left their cushioned home here in Melbourne and boom, went back to Israel because his wife was from Israel. And he's just writing. This is one of the reasons I love Israel so much. It's more open, more relaxed. And you get to do what you love. And that's the beauty of it, right? And you are in sales. Beautiful. As long as you love what you sell, then you're authentic. If you are not authentic, if you are... And his wife, by the way, still laughs at me 500 years later that I told them in one of the meditation classes... Say to yourself in the mirror, I love you. Arnold, I still stand by it. Say that to Limor. I still stand by it. Always make sure that when you brush your teeth, when you wash your face, say to yourself, I love you. Because who else do you want to tell you that? Why do you need to wait for other people to tell that to you? Let me pick some random names. The Sam's. The Steves. I can say many other names, but I won't. Those who knows who I said it to, they know it. And they're probably having a big smile. It's about you loving you and all the rest is a bonus. And we have the beautiful butterfly lady joining us here, moths. So when you are connected to yourself, Mr. True Love, Oh my God, we have a beautiful evening today. Hello, hello. So when you are aligned and connected to yourself, everything else is in the flow or everything in your life is in the flow. Okay. Sometimes you have to be in it, inside the subject, inside the matter. You have to actually feel it from the inside. And see whether you like it or not. If you will not experience it, you won't be able to give that opinion. But let me take you extra deeper. What if I'll tell you that most of the, most of the relationship that we pick, and I'm sure that a lot of you will know it, will imitate our parents. Whether we pick, you know, they're saying every girl wants her daddy and every boy wants his mommy. Unless you're gay and then you probably want the mommy or you want the daddy. <laughs> However, sounds gross, but it is the levels of where you are needing that support. It's the level of where you are connecting to your true soul. It's the level where you copied and you had the only example in your life to check what does it mean to be in a relationship. So how many of you had an affair, cheated or were cheated upon, and then in second thought realized, hang on, mom or dad had an affair. And once that you realize that, first of all, you have an opportunity to change. How many of you have seen, today I saw a lady and she was so lovely and she 
she just separated from one partner and when she separated from the father of her son she showed me i said please show me a photo because i get the images i get the reading from the photo the the we'll call it the husband the father of the child was standing there like this in his photo hugging his son it was the son's birthday hugging the son and it was like this his hand was like this and i looked at him first second was did he ever hit you does he have an anger problem and i never met the lady and she said mm, yes very much so and not only that he has anger problem he is a drinker exactly like her father okay so the father didn't abuse directly the the client i wanted to say the child but the client however there was a lot of intimidation in the house there was a lot of stress in the house there was a lot of fear in the house and what was the relationship with the father of the son he used to drink then he used to get angry then there used to be a little explosion there and what did she do years later picked up because she loves her father and i always say our fathers or our mothers depends what it is this is our first stockholm syndrome this is the first time where we are actually in love or love our capturer the people who set the example for our life however they might not actually be the right example for our life a lot of time with parenthood and i admit you learn what not to do you learn what to and how to accept the fact that potentially our parents are not our role models for positive upbringing and how do you feel about that how do you feel that potentially your parents who supposed to give you and show you everything didn't know how to do it now i'm not judging the why or the how i'm just saying hey they are probably young they were probably in different times they were busy to bring the money home they were busy feeding they were copying their parents and their patterns and then what they pass it on to the kids to us and where does it puts us in a very very challenging position that says don't do that and then we have our next generation i know a story of someone who told me that a, a female a woman that has been abused right and she used to be hit by the parents he saw her hitting her cat that was her instinct she didn't mean to and she was beautiful generally but when she was triggered she hit her cat and he when he flagged it she was really upset with him and basically she didn't speak to him after that so not only that he flagged it not only that she did the thing the hit he she didn't take responsibility afterwards so i want you to be aware that and especially if you had a trauma in your life with let me tell you everyone had traumas we all have traumas in our life the question is how do we break that cycle how do we shift the energy and for this i truly did the rebalance i am rebalanced remedy of mine the elixir it is awesome do you have any questions so far any questions or any comments let us burn some more hi to everyone who joined hello hello all right that's good so do you feel or think that you might have um this cute fur it tickles my nose <laughs> so i'm sorry i don't i just tickles um do you feel that you have been um doing any pattern that you might have copied from your parents whether it's alcohol whether it's any addiction whether it's behavior if it's not you have you manifested a partner 
that did exactly the same. Tell me that. And you've continued that. Yes? No? Write to me. Okay? All right. So then, the next. Look, look, I've got the heater. So next, what do we do about it? You can become a victim as well. Do you want to become a victim? What about me? Why did I do it? How did I do it? We don't want to do any of it. So we are now in the midst, as I said before, we are now in the midst of the um, Lions Gate. What does it mean? It means, and today um, I had this photo shoot at the clinic just to bring you guys some more images so you won't be bored from the regular one. And um, basically, mm -hmm, your aunt, she married a violent alcoholic like my grandfather. She ended up passing away from alcoholism herself. I'm so sorry to hear that, Adam, but this is what happens when we copy and we don't break the cycle. So now we are breaking the cycle. Okay, let's go do that and break the cycle. This is very important. And Carrie, yes, but I'm now single. There you go. Now you've stopped it. I hope that you are not doing and following that, right? And this is where we're breaking the, the, the cycle now. The first thing is to identify it. Identify the problem. Identify that something is wrong. And this is when you shift it. Once that you are shifting it and moving it away, right? You can take, you can plan to create something. Action plan. And once that you've planned it, you action it. And then what do you do? You're checking out. Did it work or not? And you are reassessing it after in order to shift and move it again and check it. What worked? What didn't work? What do we need to do? What we don't. And like this, once that you're doing this, boom, everything is going to shift for you. Everything is going to fly away different. Now, what I started to say today at the photo shoot, as part of it, I've done a little spread of the tarot. And the cards that came were super interesting. It was the high priestess, moi, and not to not to show off, but that's one of the represent. There were two cards that represented me directly, and then it was you carrying a heavy burden. Then you moving away in order to get to that lion. Okay, so it's about moving and learning. There was the hermit as well, and the hermit is all about learning. The hermit is all about um, learning the lesson and moving on. Okay. So the image and the vision and the message that I had from the cards were, okay, you need to move on. You need to connect to it spiritually. Take what you can and move. This is like get the money and run, but it's not about money. It's about the emotion. It's about the feelings. It's about who you are and what you are. Am I frozen to the Facebook people? I see myself moving. Am I there, Facebook, or not? I'm sorry, I'm here with two phones. So, can you see me? Okay. Um, so, basically, okay, good. Thank you, thank you. So, basically, um, grab what you can and go. Some people will wake up. Some people will not wake up. This is not your responsibility to wake them up. You cannot force the energies and the people to wake up. It's about you doing whatever you can, telling them, telling them, telling them, and then you move. And you know, I don't know if any of you know the story of Janusz Korczak. He was in the Second World War, in the Holocaust, and basically he... He could have gone, he could have been saving himself, but he stayed in an orphanage, in the ghetto, in order to help the kids. So he literally sacrificed his life. 
yet he saved the other children. And some of them survived and some of them didn't. But he didn't just think of himself from that point. This is almost like the, op oh, stop it, Arnold. Your father was in his orphanage. Wow. Because this is the image that I got today so strong. And you don't always come to the light. Look at that. Wow. So Harry that I deal with, he was that as well. Wow. Here we go. This is a small world. Someone that his father was in that orphanage. Wow. So you need to do what's right for you. You need to do what your energy is telling you. If you can save someone, save them. But you cannot drown. You cannot die. You have to move on. You cannot convince people to see the light. You are the light. And if they are attracted to this energy, move. And if not, see you. See you. And that's one of the hardest thing to do. This is one of the hardest thing to do. However, if you have to, you have to. Does that make sense? So what did we have? Own who you are. Do not change yourself for others just because you have an attachment to them. Just because that you have an expectation that if you will change, they will love you. Remember, they need to love you as you are. If you don't like something about yourself because of yourself, then move, change, do something about it. This is where the whole energy needs to shift for yourself to make you the most amazing person that you are. And if you cannot be that, whether it's in your work, whether it's with your family, whether it's within your friends, whether it's with your relationship, then you need to break the cycle. That cycle is coming usually from where we saw the first relationship, at home, with mom and dad. Okay? And you have to be nice to yourself. Even when you make a mistake, did you notice I didn't say if you make a mistake. When you make a mistake, because shit happens, right? You have to forgive yourself, learn. So again, assess the situation, create an action plan, execute the action plan, then reassess. And once that you're able to assess and reassess, this is the change. So on Monday, the 8th of the 8th, is going to be um, that peak of the line gate. That means that we are all moving into the light energy. What does it mean, the light energy? Letting go of fears, letting go of worries, letting go of stress. At least having the intention to let go of everything. And once that you are able to let go of everything, you're free. You are free. Does that make sense? And do you have any questions so far? Yes, no, yes, no. No, that's good. Okay, so let's see if I have anything else here. Um, yes. Here's one important summary here. Only be with someone that will love you 100%. No need for more, no need for less. No need for more, no need for less. If they're not giving you 100%, see ya. Now they don't have to clone you, they don't have to copy you, they don't have to do anything. I'd rather be single than compromise. This is my fair and honest statement. I'd rather be single than being compromised. I will not compromise. I will not compromise on my well-being. I will not compromise on my mental, emotional, and physical well-being, let alone spiritual. Okay?
I know someone who compromised their soul, their body, severely compromised, and basically they don't live in their body anymore. They don't live in their body and they are captured by someone very demonic, which claims to be the light. So good luck. I'm just sending love and light. You see, I won't let anyone to put me on a pedestal. It's not body language. It's the fur, ticklish. I will not anyone put me on a pedestal because you are your own heroes. You are your own mentors. I can just support you along the way. I'll just guide you through along the way. Perhaps I've been there before or I know a little bit because been there, done it, right? But you are your own bosses. You are your own inspiration. You need to live with yourself. Even when you come for a session, you're coming for an hour. The rest is yours. Does that make sense? I don't want to take responsibility for you. I have myself to take responsibility. I already take responsibility, Sammy, for you during the session when we are together. But all the rest is yours. That's it. It's yours. My responsibility is to support you, is to inspire you, to perhaps, you see, if you like what I'm doing, you can do similar things that suits you. Don't copy me. Suits you. Suit yourself. Otherwise, what's the point? Okay, and I'm not just taking myself as an example, me or anyone else. Okay, you can say, you, all you need to say is, if, if she can do it, I can do it. That's it. Because you'll do your thing your way. And you know, for a lot of people who feel incompetent, I usually say, do you know how to make an egg? And they say, yeah. You know how to make a boiled egg? Yeah. If you and I will make an egg, an omelet, right? Fried egg, sunny side up. I bet you it's going to be different. Does it mean that it's better or worse? No, it means that it's different. I'm sure if all the people that are watching it, we will compare the eggs, they will all be different. Same ingredients, same fire, same everything, it will still be different. The way that you love it, by the way, not the way that someone else guides the, the, the way. Let me just be clear. Okay? Some people like the yellow zhuzh. Some people like it harder. Some people like semi. Some people just scramble it at the end. Whatever. It's different and it's still okay and it's awesome. Does that make sense? So, do you agree? Only be with someone who loves you 100%. Good evening to Aubrey Wadonga, Miss Dora. Um, if they don't love you or support you 100%, then don't worry about it. Okay? Which is a good point, Alicia. I said many things. Hopefully, they were mostly good. Um, so again, you need to ask yourself if you're aligned. And if you are aligned, then that is awesome. Now, I said before, I can teach you how to disconnect from certain people or situation or as such. Would you like me to show you? What you need to do, it's in my book, actually. Um, you have this exercise in my book, 28 Lessons in Self-Mastery. It's only $30. Um, lesson number six. Cutting the cord and reconnecting with love. One of them, a very important one, is to actually picture yourself. Let's say we're talking about a person. Imagine yourself standing in front of the person and see how your chakras, right, are if and where they are connected. So think of that person. Now, if you are connected and you don't want to be connected, I want you to unplug yourself. 
You can either unplug it, you can cut it with a cord, you can cut it as if it's a rope, and you are shifting your energy, pulling it out, and disconnecting from this person. And you can do it one person at a time. You can do it as many times as you want, to as many people as you want, and this is goes to the external one. So once that you unplug it, you turn it, and you walk away, okay? That's the main thing. The next thing is, especially now, before the line gate, if you wish to disconnect and to clear your anger, your frustration, your, your worry, your angst, your depression even, I want you to kind of surface it up. You know, when people come to do the aura photograph, I ask them, when they put their hands on the sensor, think of your ultimate self okay think of your ultimate self and this is something that we need to change this is something that i want you to still put through so now let's you can do it you can close your eyes or not imagine that you're wearing a wetsuit literally a wetsuit we're actually on the beach somewhere sunny okay and you're putting this wetsuit on. And I want you to surface up to the wetsuit. It's as if it's like this. So you're surfacing up to the wetsuit, your anger, your frustration, your worries, your stress, your depression. We're doing it now all collectively. And as you are doing it, shifting it, you're asking it, commanding it to step out of your body. You don't want it anymore. You are shifting it. And now when you're feeling that it's kind of surfaced up, I want you to unzip this wetsuit. Unzip it and put it out of your body, take it off your body. For those who just joined us, just listen to the replay. Open the zipper, step out of it, and then go to the water and wash your body. And now you can take this wetsuit, throw it to the fire and release it. Once that you have released it, you're free. This is the way to enter. This is the way to enter to the line gate. Clear, cleansed, free, letting yourself be into this full expression of yourself because you are oh so amazing. And this is our time to move into that new level of consciousness. And once that you're able to get to this level of consciousness, Boom. The rest is history. Does that make sense? And do you have any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Ayunta. Did you get it? All right. So am I aligned with it? Don't sell yourself cheap. Don't sell yourself at all. Just be connected. Enjoy with what you have. Enjoy how you do it. Now, who would like me to give them a reading with the cards? So the cards are from Survive to Thrive. Okay. From Survive to Thrive by myself. It's all about affirmation and moving the energy into Thrive. Well... Instagram was first, so Instagram is going to be the one who will get it first. So write me if you want me. Oh, yes, please. It's very polite. I love it. Okay. These are not against the religion. This is not against anything. They are awesome. They're only affirmations. They're not telling the future or anything. Let me just sage them from last week. 
You know that I've dedicated this deck just for you guys. Even though it's my home deck, it's for that. All right. Let us do. I'm pulling just a card. So it's all about pulling cards. Okay. Let us see. Instagram it is. So doing. Tatiana Diaz. The card for you today is bingo universal love carry right dordovich carry right in the messenger to auntie natalie and see if she wants to come up um the card for you is universal love i now feel universal love in every cell of my body i now feel universal love in every cell in my body Joanna Kate, 93. You would love a card, then I'll give you one. This is about blame and choosing to change. So the affirmation for you is, I am now willing, ready, and able to be successful in all that I do. I am now willing, ready, and able to be successful in all that I do. Lovely. Next. Nikki, the card for you is frustrated. Have you been a little bit frustrated? I now choose to see the big picture and release and transform my frustrations into love. So if you were frustrated, time to transform it into love. Emerald, the card for you. And it's soon your birthday. Okay. The card for you, Emerald, is lack of awareness. However, listen to this one. I now choose to raise my vibration and be aware of all that's around me. I now choose to raise my vibration and be aware to all that's around me. Sounds good to me, doesn't it? Ayantu, the card for you. Is about nurturing. Ayantu, the card is nurturing. I now nurture myself and others with love. I now nurture myself and others with love. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. Dr. Watson. The card for you is shifting the melancholy. I now choose to lift my sadness and fill myself with joy. So even if you have hard case, I'm going to give you another card. So the hard day at the hospital because it's stuck. I'm free from any sticky situation. I now choose to fly. I am free to fly. Hi, Maytal. Thank you for joining. Okay. Lozzy, 1283. Is that December 83? Is that the first of the second 83? Lozzie, your card is joy. I am now willing, ready, and able to have and be the joy in my life. You don't need anyone else, which is awesome. Stelp, Ash. Your card is a little bit scattered. Have you been scattered? So I now collect all my scattered pieces and move into clarity. I am united within myself. That is very, very, I guess, releasing and relieving. Okay. Um, Lauren, Jade, your card is, it's a song. Back to life, back to reality. I am now safe and back to life. I am now safe and back to life. Are you still singing? However do you want me? However do you need me? Hello, Miss Coviness. Your card, Renee, is letting go and confidence. This is perfect for Lion Gate. Letting go and confident. As I let go of my fears, I find my confidence. 
I now enjoy being the amazing person that I truly am. There you go. We need to clear that. And then for Luke, let's do that. The card for Luke is depriving and replenish. I am now willing, ready, and able to nurture myself and shine my light. I am now willing, ready, and able to nurture myself and shine my light. Okay? Who else? Sonia. Sonia, Sonia. Your card is happiness. I am now willing, ready, and able to have happiness in my life. I am happiness. Remember, you don't need anyone else to make you happy. It's you who's going to make yourself happy. Okay? Ayantu already gave you a card. Nikki, thank you. Thank you. You're all welcome. Okay. The Posy Hive. The Posy Hive. Posy Hive, of course, you can. Facebook, I'm with you in five seconds. Okay? Five seconds. The Posy Hive. Your card is integrity and clarity. I am now willing, ready, and able to be truthful to myself and others. My heart is open and clean. I am now willing, ready, and able to be truthful to myself and others. My heart is open and clean. Okay? You're all very much welcome. You're so beautiful. Um, Anna Bloom or Bloms. Anna, your card is revive, balance. I am now willing, ready, and able to grow. I am now willing, ready, and able to grow. This is so lovely, all of you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, you're all welcome. Uh, Brooke. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that you all have nicknames and you can all be in the secret service. All right. So now, who do we have here? Arnold, are you still with us? Would you like a card? Arnold, your card is nourishment. Your card is nourishment. I am now willing, ready, and able to move my body, eat healthy, nourishing food, and be hydrated. Arnold, maybe you've been too busy and you're not taking care of yourself, darling. Okay, Chloe. I entertain you girls. Chloe, your card is balance. This is a very nice card. So I am now in full balance in every area of my life. I am now in full balance in every area of my life, which is awesome. Wait, let me take this pillow out. Yes, yes. All right. Carrie, your card is. Carrie, you are belonging. The card is belonging. You're welcome. I now belong. I no longer long for love. I am love. Okay, this is beautiful. I'll read it again slowly. Carrie, I now belong. I no longer long for love. I am love, which is awesome. And then for Natalie in the hospital, Natalie, you are free. I am now free to be in my full potential and self-actualize. That's awesome. Meital, are you still with us? Would you like a card? Meital, your card is inner beauty. Inner beauty. I am now willing, ready, and able to shine my light inside and out. I am now willing, ready, and able to shine my light inside and out. And remember... Every week, I'll be here around 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. And then, unless I'm struggling with the filter. <laughs> and um, if you know that you can't be on the live, but you still want me to give you a reading or to pull you a card, then just, because um, I do the full reading at the clinic. So this is just a little taste for the week, okay? Um, why are you cackling there, Miss Renee? Because of the secret service. Um, Francis, I'm going to give you a card, even though you didn't say that you're here. Remember, fearful and courageous. I am now willing, ready, and able to be free of my fear. Francis, that's for you to be free of your fear. And a card for me, someone needs to say that. And a card for you, Sharon. 
The card for me is security. I am now secure on all levels and dimensions. Do you know why this card came to me? Because once that you're letting go of so much stuff and so much crap, it's kind of scary. Is everything going to be all right? Besides, does any of you have any connection to the railway people? Because they're trying to really screw me over. And that gives me the shit today. So, if you know anyone, let me know. Um, however, I am now willing, ready, and able to tune into my needs. So, anyone else wants a card? Did I miss anyone? Yes or no? <laughs> yes, I'm receiving it. You're all welcome. I'm going to give another card. I'm just going to open the card. Ready, ready, ready. What did I say? I'm going to open up, right? What is the card opening up? This is too funny. So I'm now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways that fulfill me. So I'm now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways that fulfill me. And this is where and what we need to shift. I'm glad that you're all joining us just four minutes before I finish the live. Limor, just because you're here and I know you, I'm going to give you a card. How's that? Limor, your card is empowerment. I am now willing, ready, and able to empower myself and others. I am now willing, ready, and able to empower myself and others. There you go. And you are the area manager, so please empower yourself and others. And Alice, I'm going to give you a card and then we're almost done. Goodness gracious. Alice, the card for you is um, reassess and conscience. I am now willing, ready and able to assess my life and to find my true calling. I am now willing, ready and able to assess my life and find my true calling. So this is where today's lesson was about owning, being, doing, and shifting all these extra energies. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Always feel free to contact me in private. Um, I'm going away to the Holy Land in about three weeks. Yes. And um, I'll probably still do the lives. It just will be 12 o'clock and I'll probably do it from a sunny place. But I'll still be here and I'll still be there. And um, we have three weeks. If you need any healing, any support in person, that means. Because I will probably still work a day a week in Israel. Um, I'm here for you. I'm here to support you. I'm here to give you to remind you what is your knowledge. Leah, don't be hard on yourself. You're being too hard. You're not inadequate. I'm now willing, ready, and able to explore my personality in a loving way. And Leah, another card for you is unmotivated, motivated. I am now willing, ready, and able to be motivated and bring the spark back into my life. Do you hear me? Go and get that spark back. Okay. We lose people, we lose time. This is the way of the world, okay? So I just want to wish you all an amazing week. And I shall definitely see you next week. I'm going to sage everything and clear and enjoy. So please have the most amazing evening, the most amazing week. Lion Gate on the 8th of the 8th. Please, please, please. Let it go. Let it go. So, yes. I'm telling you a secret, but it's not. So this week, I'm taking some of my students to the shooting range and then to karaoke. <laughs> yes. Because we can and because it's fun. Anyway, I love you all and take care. And lots of love. Listen to it. If you have questions, contact me. Bye, everyone. Take care.